friends, don't judge me when I show you this. So, has gone a little out of hand, okay? I need to organize this today. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my life. There's a lot of perfumes here that I need to get them out of boxes and just organize everything. I bought these rollers a while ago and I thought it would help me organize, but clearly it's not doing its job because of me. I did debate if I wanted to remove these books and make the, these bookshelves into like a perfume shelf and just display them. However, I do realize I live in a high earthquake zone and I didn't want to risk my perfumes falling over on the bookshelf. So I'm just going to keep them in these little rotating things because when this is empty, it's pretty cute. Like it's just like my perfumes and jewelry and I keep my purse on the side. But it is cute when it's empty and clean and organized. So I have an unopened open sky. So I'm going to take this off. Let me just hold on. I don't know how to even begin. I'm going to put all my unopened perfumes right here. Guys. I've been dying for this perfume and my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. Ah, it is divine. Look at this luxury. So I think I'm going to keep this in the packaging because it's beautiful. I've been obsessed with this Gucci flora scent. Oh, delicious. So all my jewelry is back here. gonna focus on that i'm gonna literally focus on just my perfumes for today and i will show you everything i got new and i will unbox them to everything is a mess issues so here's my issue i have a lot of perfumes that lay like these all these kim kardashian ones they lay you can't stand them up so i do have trouble organizing them because i don't know they just lay there and I do like that these turn, so I think I will keep them. Um, so this is a fine fragrance mist. However, it's, well, it's pretty strong. So that's why I keep it here. This one I actually just got on the semi-annual sale. So let me put that on the side. I have a bunch of these roller balls because I am a traveler. Well, here's the thing. So I was a traveler, so I didn't like carrying my big perfume. So I would get these little ones and keep them in my purse. However, my boyfriend and I did just sign a lease to our new apartment and I won't be traveling that much. So I can actually keep my perfumes and stuff like this and I won't have to take it back and forth with me. So I also have to like kind of half my collection, which um, that's also stressing me out. So what I'm going to take over to the new place, what I'm going to keep here. That's an that's if you guys are interested in that video, let me know. That's a whole nother video I have to worry about is what I am taking over to the new place. I guess I can start by showing you all the new perfumes. New one that I just mentioned is this Gucci Flora one. And I absolutely love it. I'm not a floral fan, but this is like a sweet. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Like this. The bottle is so cute. What does it say? says white gardenia, jasmine, and pear blossom. That um, pear makes it so sweet. And then let me take these both out of here too. Let me see if I can smell it for you guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a sweet, fruity floral to me. It's not, I'm not a big fan of uh, Gucci's perfumes. Uh, they're a little too floral for me, but uh, Gucci Flora, I, they did an amazing job. It's a perfect amount of sweetness for me. It smells beautiful. It's girly. It's sexy. Like, I love wearing it. So that's a new one. And then, let's see. As I mentioned, this is strong, so I just keep it here. Maybe I'll put it in my fine fragrance mist, actually. This scent, which I mentioned previously, this my boyfriend got for me. I wanted this so bad for such a long time, but I did not want to pay the price tag for it. It's pretty expensive. And the bottle is so luxe. Like... The bottle is so luxe. Like, they killed it. They killed it. And even the packaging, it just looks like money. So I think this I'm going to keep in here because I just want to have it on display like this. I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. And this one's going to stay in the box. This, oh, by the way, that one smells like 
marshmallow, sweet, maybe a little bit woodsy. Depends on your chemistry, your body chemistry. It's a, you have, you know, it could be hit or miss with some people. So you definitely have to check it to see if you like it before you pay the steep price on it. But I definitely love it. And that is the scent that Miss Rihanna is famous for. So if you ever look up interviews and stuff and everyone says Rihanna is the best smelling human on earth, she said that's what she wears, so that could give you a little reference. One up I got is Bombshell in Bloom. Let's see. The thing I might do is make my high end here and then like Victoria's Secret dossier probably over here. I'm not too sure just yet. So that's what it looks like. Get out. There you go. Looks like this. I hope I'm in focus. I can't see anything. Oh, I guess I was not in focus, so it looks like this. Let's see what it smells like. The bottle is kind of loose. Mmm, oh, that smells delicious. What are the notes on here? So it's pink freesia, red apple, water lily. Oh, that's delicious. Uh, again, it's sweet, it's girly, it's fruity. Oh, I love it so much. By the way, so when I buy Victoria's Secret scents, they usually send out booklets, and in the booklets, you can get you can smell what they smell like before you buy them that's how i sniff them i don't go in stores i just go based off the booklets and it, it's been good so pick this up on this recent semi-annual sale okay looks like this one and as i mentioned i do have the matching fragrance mist mm. I don't know. It smells so good. Let me. There's no notes, but again, it's very flirty. It's sweet. It's when I say sweet, I don't mean gourmand. These are very fruit sweet. I would say very feminine, girly, oh, sexy. It smells like something you would want to wear on a date. This is Open Sky. I just picked it up at semi annual sale. I called this one. Looks like this. So Bath and Body Works perfumes are much stronger than their fragrance mist for obvious reasons open sky was very slept on this actually smells beautiful it is so beautiful i'm so glad i picked this up the notes are fresh air wild blackberries soft violet and comforting vanilla it is such a beautiful scent, and everything just fell it is such a beautiful scent so i'm glad i picked that up by the way, what just fell was all those boxes I was stacking, plus my hand sanitizers and wallflowers. So that's nice. This is Amazing Grace. Um, what does it say? I actually don't have any Amazing Grace products. Uh, my my friend got this for me for Christmas. I have no idea. It does say Ballet Rose. I hope it's not too floral, but we'll see. If it is, I'll just mix and match with my other sweet scents. Looks like this. It is very floral. Let's see. Mm-hmm. This is a very true rose scent. It smells very, I would say almost kind of powdery rose. It smells like the authentic rose. So this one I would definitely mix and match with my other sweeter scents because it is pretty floral. Down for a moment. This is Angel. I have not smelled this before. Again, it was a Christmas gift. Let's see. I don't know what to expect from this one, actually. I haven't even looked at the scent notes. Oh, I can smell it from here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I smell like musk or something. That is strong. I don't know what I'm smelling. So it looks like this. Another perfume that needs to be laid down. Is oh, interesting. I don't have a clue what this smells like. What is that? It's not, I don't smell a fruit. What is that? Is that floral? What is that? Oh no, I don't have a clue what this smells like. I'll write down the notes on the screen because I for the life of me cannot figure that out. So let me go ahead and add that on. Next one on here is very sexy now, Victoria's Secret. That. Looks like this. Okay, that's back to the scents I like. So it's tropical guava, mariposa flower, and sora coconut. To me, 
I just smell, it smells very like paradisey. I do smell like that coconut. It's sweet. It's kind of sweet. It's perfumey. I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's sexy. You see how it says very sexy now. It's very playful. It's flirty, girly. I love it. So I'm going to put this here. Now this one is Rose Hardcore from Victoria's Secret. I picked this up last semi-annual sale. So I'm not going to open this yet because I have, where is it? What the heck? Did I lose it? Oh, here it is. So this is it. I had to pick up a backup because I loved it so, so, so much. I picked up a backup of it. It is. It says Black Rose, Downtown Dusk, and Raw Amber. To me, this is full amber. It's sweet. It's floral. It's sexy. I fell in love with this. You know what? Looking at my perfumes, I say I'm not a floral girl, but most of them I seem to be floral. But I don't like deep floral. I like a balance of floral, whether it's fruity floral, sweet floral, gourmand floral. I don't like like fresh flower floral, if that makes sense. So I need it to be a mixture. Let's see. So this one I'm not going to open just yet because I already have it out there. I don't know if I'm going to open these just yet. So I have, what is this? I have, this is the regular Bombshell. This is Bombshell Beach. This is Bombshell Passion. And this is Bombshell Seduction. So I'm just going to keep these on the side. But what I'm going to do now is try and maybe organize, put some rhyme or reason over here and kind of go from there. See, I go from there. The back is pretty messy, so it's not going to look that nice, but I'm going to just try my best. So I did decide I'm going to open these little roller balls and put them in this little jar. It's a Bath & Body Works candle jar. Right, so this is what I came up with for now. Again, pretend that that entire back is clean and not there because I will get to that eventually. I do love these little rollers though for these perfumes. I think they're perfect so I don't have to like guess which one is where. Um, my luxury table, I mean, it's not, I feel like this looks better, more put together. I mentioned I did find this little candle to put all my roller balls and like travel size ones. And I'll quickly, I guess I'll quickly go through everything I have. As I mentioned, that is Love by Killian. Killian don't be shy. So in this rollerball, I have a Gucci Flora, the, the Victoria's Secret rollerballs I mentioned, and a couple little ones. And my luxury one, I have the Chanel, Chanel Chance. So this is um, the pink bottle, I believe, not the green one. Uh, my all-time favorite perfume. Jimmy Choo, Amazing Grace, Ballet Rose, Gucci Flora, Gucci Flora. These are Kim Kardashian and their crystal? or No, this is one she had collaborations with her sisters. This was hers. This was Courtney's, I believe, and I don't have Chloe's. These two are also Kim's. These are in her crystal collection, I believe. One of them is... Um, one of them is a pair so these came with like little crystals and if you open up the thing like there's like crystals and things it actually came with like physical crystals so i think that's pretty cool um from what i remember one is pear and one is a citrus one i'm not entirely sure that's the angel uh, mugler one i just opened um, let's see. So now that I actually kind of organized this, I'm going to look around my house where all my perfumes are and bring them here. This is my Victoria's Secret um, slash. This is my miscellaneous, I'll say. So I'll just start here. I have Open Sky, Perfect Peony. This probably shouldn't be here since it's an oil, but whatever. I have Victoria's Secret Teas, Just a Kiss, Bombshell, Very Sexy Now, Rose Hardcore, Bombshell in Bloom. I have Dossier Florental Almond, Fruity Magnolia, 
floral grapefruits, fruity honey, aquatic peony, floriental vanilla, and then in the middle I have just three of the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction. Let's see. Bombshell, what does that say? Passion and Bombshell Intense. So that is what it's looking like right now. I'm not, I don't, like I said, I don't really like this setup because so many of them are laying down. So I think I'm going to try and find a better solution for this, but that is what it looks like. If you guys are interested in these little trays, I'll try and remember to list them down below. If I don't remember, remind me in the comment section and I'll definitely put them, but it's so convenient. And yeah, that's what it's looking like. Remember to add to this, I do have one of these kits. Hold on. I do have one of these kits where I'm going to add these little sampler sizes into that as well. A quick update, I did just go through and find all of the little samples I had in the kits and, you know, put them all in this little jar. So again, repurpose your Bath & Body Works candle jars. So I ended up putting that there. So this is what it looks like now. I do wish that background was cleaner so you guys could get the full picture, but you get it. I'm working on it one area of my place at a time. So that is what my final perfume is looking like, my final organization. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know how you guys store your perfumes. Uh, I'm, I like this tray, but as I said, it's not convenient for these ones that are laying down. Let me know if you guys have any better solutions or how you organize your perfumes. Also, comment down below if you guys see a favorite of yours or a perfume I should try. Now that you see this is kind of my taste, let me know if there's a perfume yet you recommend I try. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!